How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of centipedes in your basement. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBurk999. So this is a great, great question by a subscriber. I thought I would do this. I know this is a health channel, but I, again, if you guys give me questions, I will try to answer to them. Um, I recently, I didn't have centipedes, but I did have ants. So pretty similar, centipedes, ants, it is a critter, it's an insect, it's getting in your house. Um, how can we get rid of it? And again, the ants too, the ants were getting in my basement and the subscriber, they said the centipedes are getting in their basement. So I'm like, hey, let's make a video on this. So what I personally did, um, is what you have to do is you have to go around the foundation. So go around the foundation, wherever they're coming in. Again, if you if you see where they're coming in, half the problem's done, like gone. Like you, you fix half the problem right there. You got to know where they're coming in. If you just see a centipede in the middle of the room, then that really doesn't do any good. You got to see where they're coming in. If you see where they're coming in, chances are there's probably a crack in the foundation. Could be a small, small crack. In my uh, case, it was, it was a small, small, small crack. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use sealer. You're gonna use a sealer, you're gonna fill in that little crack and what should happen is that should block the centipedes from coming into your basement. I did the same thing with that and guess what? Did not come in the house. Super, super, super easy to do. Sometimes the crack in the foundation could be outside. So if you see them outside coming into the house and seal it outside, you got to block the entrances from the outside and to the inside. You got to block them and you can use sealer. Now, another thing too, is they're coming there. Chances are there's probably food. Now for me, it was in the basement. It's kind of like my video, not my, like my man cave, if you will. Um, I had like my, my nightstands. Yeah, I had the nightstands and then I had um, my chair and then I had the TV playing the video game, stuff like that, right? And sometimes I would be eating something like maybe a bag of chips and I'd leave the bag of chips on the nightstand, right? And I think that's what they were going for. Maybe they were smelling the food, I don't know. So what I made sure is every single time after, no food, no food at all. That's what they're getting attracted to because of the, they're, they're hungry, they want the food, right? So make sure no food. This works for all insects. Usually they're coming in the house for food. So make sure it's clean, super, super clean, you guys. Um, next one that you could do is you could do pest spray. I don't like that though, because a lot of them are poisonous. You can get all organic ones. Personally, before I would try the pest spray, I would call a professional and see what he says. Call like a, a pest guy or uh, insect, I don't know what they call them, I forget what they're called, and um, just call them, or exterminate, I think they're called exterminators, and yeah, call them and they will help you guys out. So, end of video, thank you so much for watching.